Yeah, yeah, yeah. Die line, die line with the boom pow. Every week now I switch to a new Hey guys, what's up? It's Giselle and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, then welcome for the very first time. Thanks for stopping by. I'm so sorry that I missed last week's uploads. I know I said I was gonna be on it this year, posting two videos per week, but ever since I posted that very emotional Valentine's Day video, a lot has happened and I just kinda wanted to square all that away before coming back on here and filming for you guys. But I'm super happy to be back. So thank you guys so much for being patient with me. I really appreciate it and for your understanding. This week you'll definitely be getting two videos, but for today's video I'm hitting you with a new type of video on my channel that I've never done before in today's video I'll be sharing creative Instagram hacks that you need to know and I know there are a ton of Instagram hack videos on YouTube already So I thought I would put my own little twist on this by sharing creative ways to use Instagram for more than just social media before we get started, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're not already so you don't miss any new videos that I have coming up. Also, extra points if you hit the little notification bell down below next to the subscribe button because it just notifies you whenever I post a video. Huge shout out to Gymnast Tree for having theirs on. And yeah, follow me on all my socials if you would like to stay connected. And let's just get into the hacks. Alright, so hack number one is to make Instagram highlight covers. Your Instagram highlights is that little feature at the top of your actual feed. I honestly hated this feature when it first came out. It just looked so ugly in my opinion. I just felt like the highlights at the top were just like super random looking and really ruined the aesthetic of people's feeds. And honestly, I did not use the highlights feature for the longest time, but I've really grown to be obsessed with using the Instagram stories and then putting them into my highlights ever since I made highlight covers. These covers are so popular amongst the blogger and also fitness community. I first saw them on Amanda Bucci's Instagram and I'll link her down below. I don't know if she's the first person to ever do it, but she's the first person that I came across that did have the covers and then after that I just kept seeing more and more people having them but basically making covers for your highlights is just a really great way to keep your feed cohesive and aesthetically pleasing to new viewers as well as looking really clean and sharp I think there's a huge difference between the two looks when you do have highlights with no covers and then when you have one with a cover I personally use Photoshop to make mine just because I have access to it and it's a lot easier for me but you can use the app Fonto to do them or even PicMonkey to make yours if you want to see a tutorial on how I do it definitely let me know down below by commenting a bunch of fire emojis and I'll definitely be sure to make that tutorial for you guys. Also I noticed a huge increase in engagement ever since I made these covers because it just motivated me more to make Instagram stories and then putting them into my highlights and I feel like that whole rumor with if you use all the Instagram features Instagram tends to like favor you more and like bring more engagement to you so maybe that's true. Instagram hack number two is cute quote images. Have you ever seen a really cute quote on Pinterest that just speaks to your freaking soul and you want to repost it onto your Instagram so you can spread the positivity to your followers but then you don't because it doesn't really fit your aesthetic. So whenever this happens to me I go into the app Fonto just to create my own and you can just choose like your own background color or you can make it to whatever color you want that matches your feed aesthetic and you can choose from a bunch of different fonts and then just save it and then import it to your Instagram. So that's a great way to share what inspires you without compromising the look of your feed. GIF challenges or GIF challenges, whether you say GIF or GIF, I think GIF is the correct way to say it, but I don't know. GIF challenges basically are my new favorite thing to do on Instagram, specifically in the Instagram stories. And I believe Martina Martian was the very first person to create these templates for GIF challenges, but more and more bloggers and influencers I've seen have been creating their own templates inspired by Martina. But I'll definitely link her down below so you can see her templates. If you haven't heard of these GIF challenges, you are in for a freaking treat because once you try one after watching this video, you'll be hooked on it. I was totally hooked after I did my first one, but basically a GIF challenge is a template that someone creates and they have it in their IG story and you just basically fill it out with gifts that pertain to your mood or your likes or dislikes or whatever the question is asking on the template so this is the example of a gift challenge that I made and you can find this on my Instagram under my favorites cover in my highlight reels basically you just pick out any gift that is pertaining to your mood or whatever the gift is asking and it's super fun there's so many different templates now that more and more people are creating you can also create your own and it's just super fun. 
So the last creative Instagram hack that I have for you guys today is to use your collections as mood and inspiration boards. So one of the best things about Pinterest and that I think a lot of people really gravitate towards it is because you can grab a bunch of different inspiration photos and put them into separate boards so they're not all like scrambled up into one feed. But I bet you didn't know you could use Instagram the exact same way. I'm sure you guys are familiar with the little flag icon under each post that you pass by on your feed where you click on it and then it saves to your private photos so you could like view it later. But the thing about that, if you save it onto your private photos, all the pictures that you like are all jumbled up just in one long feed. And a lot of people don't really use the collections part of it. So what I like to do is I like to make collections based on the photos that I like. And then from my private photos, I go ahead and make little collections out of them. It's kind of like Pinterest boards. So you can just go ahead and find them really easily and just have them all organized into different boards or collections. It's like the same thing basically. And I feel like a lot of people don't really use the collections in that way, but it's basically the exact same thing as Pinterest boards and I think it's a lot easier because a lot of the times I do find pictures on Instagram that I want to save that I want to put into my Pinterest board, but instead of just uploading it onto my Pinterest board, I can just create one through Instagram, which makes it super easy. And this is just another way to use Instagram other than for social media. But that is all the creative Instagram hacks that I have for you guys today. If you like this video, please do give it a like and subscribe down below if you have not already. I have a ton of videos coming up that you don't want to miss and I'm super excited for where I'm taking my channel. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss any of this journey. If you want to see more hack videos from me, definitely do let me know down below as well. And I think that's all for my outro. Before I go, like I always say, there's so much negativity in the world. So be sure to only spread positivity down in the comments and of course wherever you go and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Die line, die line with the boom pow. Every week now I switch to a new style. Two twelves in the back just blew out. Everything I do end up in the news now. Yeah.